No, I'm not going to leave my stunningly beautiful wife for you, no matter how many tricks you might be able to do with a bar of soap. <laughs> <laughs> It was an excellent production and it was really, really well put together from all aspects. I usually see spectacles, you know, like The Lion King, you know, Chicago. This is more simplistic and yet this is good as the others. It was really funny and it had my attention the whole time. Without Channel 68, Big Bird and all of his friends will be dead. <laughs> You're a lot closer to the actors themselves and it's got to be a lot more difficult because you see more emotion. You're right there next to them. It's a different feel and it must be difficult to do and they pulled it off well. Expect nothing and ye shall be rewarded. Well, Clockwork is really the brainchild of these seven former students of mine. All of us had graduated and been separately doing things for I'd say just over a year, maybe a year and a half. and. You know, we had all remained in touch as friends, and we had always kind of jokingly kicked around the idea in school, you know, that it would be great to start a theater company. And it wasn't until, like I said, about a year and a half out, where we all did come together and kind of had this meeting and dinner together where we said, well, what if we stopped talking about it? What if it wasn't just an idea anymore? What if we actually tried to do this? What if we tried to come up with a plan to actually make this happen? My name is Owen Smith, and I'm the producing director of Clockwork. I went into high school really having not done much theater at all, um, but I was a soccer player and I sustained a couple of serious injuries to my knees and sort of kind of got the notion that I might want to try doing plays and I, I did. I did a couple of plays uh, early on in my high school years for you know, little companies in the community, uh, you know, basically community theater productions, and found that I really enjoyed it, found that it excited me in a way that uh, playing sports didn't. And uh, it was something very different than everyone else in my family had done. A crescote, a bocote, imperote, a desto! Maybe you didn't notice it's the end of the world out there today. Well, when I was a little kid, long story short, <clears throat> my oldest brother was in a production of Oliver when I was like four. <laughs> and it was at like the local high school, but he was still a little kid. So my mother took me to the theater with her to like be there at rehearsal for my brother because he was still a little guy. So I guess watching Oliver as a little kid sort of, that's when I got bit by the bug. I started teaching here in 2000. And this was my first class. In other words, they were the freshmen. So we, in, a, in a sense, we went through our first four years together. Um, and uh, we were yoked together. I mean, Owen and Danny and Stephanie and Jay, I mean, you know, the, the whole group. So we worked together on, on shows, we sort of got to know each other, I sort of got to know the lay of the land around here at Theater Arts and on the SUNY New Falls campus. We saw what was possible, what was not possible, and I think we all grew together. We were afforded a lot of personal attention and Danny and I both, uh, you know, we, we became close at New Paltz and we, we both had shared a, a mentor in Stephen Katsakos, who is a, a current professor at New Paltz, and someone who I think has done tons uh, to help the theater department as far as making the theater department more open to the rest of the school. I would say that the thing that they taught us to do was not, they didn't teach us how to act or how to feel about theater. They taught us how to make our own decisions and how to be educated and how to think for ourselves. And that's certainly the most valuable thing that, that they've given to us. And I think upon arriving at New Paltz, I, I certainly had notions of, well, maybe this is a stepping stone. But I was instantly in love with the idea that New Paltz taught you to be a free thinker. One thing that we learned from the faculty at SUNY New Paltz was if you want to do theater, you're going to have to do it yourself. That's something that was taught to us always, that if you really want to get out there and keep busy, get it done. And so the seven of us, we all hung out a lot when we were in school, and we all had our own different little groups, but we always saw each other. We shared all our classes together, so a lot of that had a big part of our forming of the company. It just sort of fit, made sense. We just weren't doing what we wanted to do when we moved down here and some of us were going on auditions and some of us were getting cast in shows and it was it was fine but it just wasn't exactly what we were what our you know dreams were and so it started off very slowly and we would just say you know someday let's let's talk about getting together starting our own company let's figure out what that entails what we would need to do and we sort of you know just kept talking about it more and more and more and after a while we we realized that we have all of the pieces, you know what I mean? We have the, the technical whiz, we have, the, we have a couple of actors, we have a couple of directors, we have businessmen, and we realized that we had everything we needed, we just needed to 
do it. In the beginning, none of us had any idea about just how complex what we were getting into was going to be. Uh, the notion in the beginning was, well, let's let's sort of try it out. Let's see if we can put up a show. Uh, it took us eight weeks to pick a company name. It took us another, you know, month or so to create a mission. That's the foundation of any theater company is exactly why are you creating a company. You basically put together a, you know, a statement that says this is the kind of theater that we're going to do, this is who we're going to do it for, and this is how we're going to do it. We had uh, very little money. We started the company by each putting in, I believe, about $35 of our own money to put together some office supplies and things that we would need. We put together an introductory mailer, and we uh, sent out a mailing to our friends and our families and our colleagues and people who had, uh, you know, taught us, people who had worked with us, and uh, basically just said, "This is what we want to do. We want to put together a company that's going to produce theater in New York." And uh, we, we did, I think, highlight our New Paltz experience in that letter a lot in the beginning because it was what we had to draw on. It was the experience that we had at the time. We're able to get support very early on from a foundation called McKenna Productions. McKenna Productions is a not-for-profit, it's a local organization. Um, it, uh, at one time, had a direct connection to the School of Fine Performing Arts with the Theater Arts Department, and then a couple of years ago, sort of broke off on its own. Um, and that uh, foundation uh, provides funds for opportunities for theater arts depart department graduates to work on projects, to pursue um, particularly uh, additional education or independent studies, um, go to London to study, etc. So um, we made a presentation to McKenna and they were very impressed by it and they, they awarded the clockwork a, a substantial amount of money to begin with. But most of our money comes from individual members and it's, it's amazing. I mean just to look in the back of uh, the program and see the list of hundreds and hundreds of people who have donated out of their own pocket money because, I mean, some of them it's because it's my mom, you know, and because it's Doug's mom right. or Doug's sister, but, you know, it's people who just believe in what we're doing and believe that we are doing the right thing and they support us and they want to help financially and it's, I mean, you know, every time we get a check from somebody, it, it means a lot to us and that's where most of what you see comes from. Do you know what this is? The sickest paperweight in Seville? <laughs> this was once a man like you. Better paid, I bet. Do you know what is truly important in this world? Fellatio? Knowledge. Oh, get normal, will you, Tom Juan? And please, please, give me a raise. You just got one. Seven years ago. 